hello everyone welcome to the 19th lecture of the course in the previous two lectures we have been discussing how coexistence expresses itself as the four orders in nature and we discussed the innateness and natural characteristics of all the orders in the previous lecture and today we are going to discuss how the self observes this expression of coexistence so today we are going to discuss the coexistence and its expression as seen by the self the coexistence and its expression is seen by the self through its different activities and as we have discussed that there are five activities in block b1 that is the dimension of knowing and there are five activities in block b2 the dimension of thought or imagination so existence is there as coexistence and the units are submerged in space and every unit has five aspects this is something that we had discussed earlier the form property natural characteristic innateness and coexistence so we already have discussed about these five aspects and now we'll see how the self observes these five aspects so if you look at the five aspects the form and property are changing and there is variety there so the form includes the shape size density the property includes the effect on other unit and we can see that there is a variety here it varies from unit to unit and it also varies from time to time it keeps on changing but when you look at the natural characteristic innateness and coexistence we can see that this is something definite it remains as it is it is continuous also it does not vary with time and it is universal also so here it is definite continuous and universal this is not to be found with the form and property so right understanding essentially is seeing the essence of the reality as it is that is seeing that part which is definite continuous and universal so being able to see the natural characteristic innateness and coexistence is right understanding when we are observing the form and property it is a part of imagination and the imagination that we have about the form and property also keeps changing but the understanding that we get about the natural characteristic innateness and coexistence continues to be now when i go to observe the natural characteristic i need to awaken to the activity of contemplation to observe the innateness i need to awaken to the activity of understanding and to observe the coexistence i need to awaken to the activity of realization and then my right understanding is complete and then there is assurance in the self so this is something to be made out when we are going to observe the reality as it is so the submergence that is coexistence is seen by the self at the level of its activity of realization and the five aspects of any given unit and that is to say every unit are seen by the self through its different activities so we'll see how the form is seen by the self the property is seen by the self the natural characteristic is seen by the self the harmony is seen by the self and the submergence is seen by the self now if you talk about form it is seen at the level of selecting testing partly so the shape size density are something to be tested by the self and there also it is partly because we are not able to see the complete form many a times for example when you observe the form of a building you are able to see the front face you are not able to see the complete building isn't it so the shape size density are observed by the self at the level of selecting and testing and that is also there partly when you look at the property so property is seen at the level of analyzing and comparing and property essentially is effect of one unit on another unit so property is effect of one unit on another unit and one example given here is heating of utensil by fire now if you put a utensil on fire it gets heated and if there is water inside the utensil it starts boiling now this is something that i observe and for that i need to do the analysis what i look at the level of testing is the change in form okay so when the utensil gets heated okay i get a different kind of sensation if i touch it i get a different kind of sensation if i see it through eyes i get a different kind of sensation isn't it so that is something which i observe the form part at the level of selecting and testing but to be able to decide that if you heat up a utensil it gets heated up 
but to be able to decide that if you put a utensil on fire it gets heated up and the water starts boiling i need to analyze isn't it for example if you have to switch on the fan in the room you go to the switchboard turn the switch on and the fan starts rotating now this is something that you analyze that if i switch on the fan in this manner the fan will start rotating now if i put my finger again and toggle it the other way the fan will stop now this is something that you are able to analyze so the property that is effect of one unit on another unit is something to be analyzed by the self so the form is observed by the self at the level of selecting and testing the property is observed by the self at the level of analyzing and comparing so try to look at different uh, physical facilities in your room and try to make out how you observe the form how you observe the property okay what you can do at the level of selecting and testing what you can do at the level of analyzing and comparing try to make it out for yourself now looking at the form let's say the unit is there and we call it as u1 the first unit it has shape size density of the unit if you look at property it is between two units so there is unit 1 and unit 2 and the effect of one unit on another unit and the recognition and fulfillment is there by one unit with another unit so now if you look at the seeing through sensation you can see the form the shape size density so here the body is there and the self is there and then we have sense organs in the body eyes are there ears are there you know tongue is there skin is there and we can make out the form through the sense organs isn't it at the level of selecting and testing we can also make out some part of the property here through sensation and like for example when i touch the utensil and i find that it is hot okay so uh, i am able to get some information about the property at the level of selecting and testing now to be able to see what is rational here again i can see some part of the property then there is involvement of selecting testing as well as analyzing comparing so you put something over fire and it gets heated this conclusion that i arrive at is through analysis isn't it if i put the utensil on fire it gets heated if i put the utensil on water it does not get heated i am comparing so here there is something more to selecting and testing isn't it now when i go to see what is existential that is the essence part the natural characteristic that is participation in the larger order innateness that is self organization and coexistence that is submergence i am able to see at the level of higher activities of the self so i contemplate upon the natural characteristic i understand the harmony the innateness and i realize the coexistence that is submergence and these are the higher level activities of log one so this is how i see the different aspects of a reality isn't it now presently if you see no our system of knowledge seems to be focused on seeing through sensation or seeing what is rational so that's why our academics or uh, our system of knowledge is largely focused upon the form and property we study so many things about the property of different elements materials compounds physiochemical things we study about the form of physiochemical objects isn't it so currently if you look at the academic curriculum the syllabus the books they are largely focused upon the form and property so here we have the role of body and the self when we are operating at the level of sensation when you are trying to look at what is rational then it is completely at the level of self so you have tested the form and with that you try to analyze and compare this is going to happen in the self by the self when you are receiving the sensation from the body the body has a role to play isn't it but when you are analyzing the body has no role to play even this part is not touched upon in the present day education system because we hardly talk about the self in the present system of knowledge we assume the human being as body and we try to explain everything in terms of body isn't it so it tends to neglect these three things the natural characteristic the innateness and the coexistence which is definite and universal and that's how they no focus on the awakening of the activities of contemplation understanding and realization we have somehow kept it out of syllabus we are only focusing on gathering information of the form and property
so we keep on learning about the materials and their properties their interactions and so many things but hardly we talk about the self hardly we talk about these aspects of the physiochemical things because for this we need to awaken to the higher level activities it cannot be done merely at the level of imagination so that is why we are unable to see the relationship harmony and coexistence and this is something that we can see when it goes to the society people do not have understanding of relationship do not have understanding of harmony and coexistence and that's how there is so much of struggle war strife in the society and we also assume that the whole nature is there struggling okay and only the fittest can survive so this kind of confusion is bound to be there if we neglect the essence of any uh, reality which is definite and universal then this is bound to happen so the outcome is visible quite visible you know we can see the problems in the society we can see the problems with conduct of a human being and that is because we are not talking about the humanness we are not talking about the innateness the natural characteristic of a human being isn't it so we can see that as a result we are unable to see relationship harmony and coexistence around us in the natural existence and rather what we try to see is opposition disharmony contradiction struggle and that is what we are doing today so if i am not able to see the participation of any entity in the nature okay i will assume something for that if i do not see the innateness of any entity i will assume something for that and then i am misled by preconditionings by wrong assumptions and we do assume that wherever people are there opposition would be there disharmony would be there we may also assume that the whole nature is filled with disharmony and opposition the struggle okay the survival of one unit is going to contradict the survival of another unit so there is so much of contradiction now the whole nature is a struggle these kinds of false uh, notions we start carrying and if you analyze it a bit you will see that this is the source of opposition struggle terrorism war in the world today so whatever we have assume about the nature we impose the same assumption about the human being about family about society isn't it so it is not a matter of surprise when we look at the current state of society because we have not been able to focus on the essence of the reality neither in the family nor in education system and that's how there is so much of uh, disharmony in the society so try to observe this try to verify this try to relate this with the worldly problem that we see the problems in the family and society that we see are these problems related in any way to the lack of understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence and if yes then what is the way to go ahead this is something that we need to make out unless we talk about the essence of the reality in our regular curriculum okay the student that gets educated through the present system is going to be laden with lots of preconditionings and false notions and then this will of course have an effect on the future life so this is something worth paying attention to isn't it so what we need to do is to set our system of knowledge right and that is to make it focused and based on the essence part to see something which is definite and universal so can we focus our education today on natural characteristic and innateness and coexistence so that every self gets awakened through education can this be made the focus right from childhood can we talk about these aspects of the reality so as the child starts developing one's understanding by observing this reality then the child develops into a human being living with human consciousness otherwise with those preconditioning the child is bound to live with animal consciousness and then these kinds of problems would be there so once we have this thing as a system of knowledge then we will be able to see the relationship harmony and coexistence around us in the nature and existence and this is solve many of our present day problems isn't it all the problems are indication that we do not have right understanding of the reality if i can understand myself as i am if i can understand the body as it is if i can understand the rest of the society as it is every human being as it is the nature as it is then how will i commit mistakes i commit mistakes only when i am not able to know the things as they are let me take an example say you have to come out of your room and you do not know where the door is so we will 
of course you know, bump against the wall say you want to come out of the room and you do not know where the door is so you are going to bang against the wall but if you know the door where it is you are going to come out of the door very naturally so if i do not understand the reality i am going to commit mistakes i am going to be carried away by false notions but if i understand the reality that is not going to be the case so when we are working on seeing what is of essence that is definite and universal then we see natural characteristic the participation in the larger order or the relationship through contemplation of units starting with one then many and ultimately all the units so at the level of contemplation only i am able to see the natural characteristic it is not something to be imagined but to be observed directly and we can start with one unit and say the human being and for a human being also why not start with one self so what is my natural characteristic so the feelings that we are talking about trust respect affection these are the natural characteristic of the self isn't it so you can start by observing the natural characteristic of the conscious entity that is the self and then we can go to see it for the physiochemical things the material entities similarly we are able to see the innateness that is self organization that is harmony through understanding of units starting with one then many and ultimately all the units and of nature as a whole okay. and then we see coexistence that is submergence through realization of one and all units which is same for all units and for the whole existence so this is seen in a sequential manner while going from lower to higher activities so we might be operating only up to the activity of imaging but when we are able to contemplate on the reality we are able to see the natural characteristic then we are able to see the harmony and ultimately we are able to see the coexistence as it is this is the way the evolution of the self takes place so this is seen in a sequential manner by going from lower to higher activities we'll discuss this in slide 20 however when we are seeing from the top that is realization of coexistence and then unfolding then the unfolding will be different and this is something that we are going to discuss in slide number 21 so one way is that we are moving from lower activities to higher activities and the other way is that we are able to see from the higher activities and then move down to lower activities so both the ways we can observe how the self is active so coexistence can be seen in each of the orders and we have discussed about this that in the physical order it is seen as interaction in the bio order it is seen as interaction and pulsation in the animal order it is seen as interaction and pulsation in the body and sensitivity in eye in the human order it is seen as interaction and pulsation in the body and sensitivity in eye and in addition knowability in the self isn't it so this is how coexistence expresses itself in the four orders so the coexistence that is submergence expresses itself in this manner in all the four orders similarly we have discussed about the innateness we also discussed about the natural characteristic in the previous lecture so this is something that we have discussed and this is something that we need to observe so we already discussed about these things and now we are trying to see how the self observes these things so the self observes the natural characteristic through contemplation the innateness through understanding and the submergence through realization isn't it so at the level of contemplation there is clarity of relationship natural characteristic participation in the larger orders at the level of understanding there is clarity of harmony in the nature there is clarity of the self organization the innateness and at the level of realization there is clarity of coexistence in existence that is submergence so this is how the self observes the reality now at the level of analyzing and comparing the self is able to see the property and at the level of selecting and testing the self is able to see the form and seeing the natural characteristic requires activation of contemplation similarly seeing of harmony innateness requires activation of understanding and seeing uh, the coexistence requires activation of realization awakening to realization and this is how the self observes different aspects of reality so i hope this is clear to you so we can see here that through realization i am able to see the submergence 
through understanding i'm able to see the innateness and through contemplation i'm able to see the natural characteristic and this is the way i observe the essence of the reality isn't it of all the four orders so put in one slide all that we have discussed so at the level of selecting and testing i am able to see some part of the form for example shape size color and property of the unit at the level of analyzing and comparing i am able to see some part of the property of the unit that is effect of one unit on another unit at the level of contemplation i am able to see the relationship natural characteristic and participation in the larger order at the level of understanding i am able to see the harmony in nature and that is to say the self organization the innateness in nature and at the level of realization i am able to see the coexistence in existence that is the submergence and as we move from lower activities to higher activities okay we are able to see the essence more clearly and when i am able to see the <clears throat> and when i am able to see <clears throat> and when i am able to see the coexistence that completes my right understanding so one clarity that we get from here is that i can see the complete existence as it is i can completely see the essence of all the orders in nature as it is isn't it and that is going to happen in the self by the self now when we are able to awaken to the higher level activities so we can see how the coexistence is seen by the self from higher to lower activities so we are able to have the clarity of coexistence at the level of realization clarity of harmony at the level of understanding and clarity of relationship at the level of contemplation and this guides my imaging this guides my analyzing and comparing this guides my selecting and testing so now with the awakening of the high level activities the property that i am able to see through analyzing and comparing now this is coexistence harmony and relationship based so these guide the senses health and profit now and i am able to see the property with the clarity of coexistence harmony and relationship similarly i am able to see the form at the level of selecting and testing and then the coexistence harmony and relationship guide my sensation so that clarity is already there in me and with that i get the test of the form and the same thing now reflects in my behavior in my work and my participation so this is what is going to happen in the self after the awakening has taken place and when we look at the coexistence from higher to lower activities so now we need to observe how the coexistence and space is seen differently by different activities of the self so now we want to understand how coexistence that is submergence is seen by the self and how space is seen by the self depending upon the activation of its higher and higher activities so if you look at the activities here say selecting and testing so what do i see at the level of selecting and testing when it comes to observe the space or the coexistence so i am able to see two units with gap that is void in between isn't it now this is something that we have been observing we are able to make out two units how do we make out through the gap the space available between once again so how do we make out so we are able to make out the units as two and how do we make out by being able to see the gap that is void in between so you can see two human beings are there how do we say that there are two human beings because there is gap that is void in between the two human beings isn't it we can see two chairs two fans two tube lights and how do we see them as two because there is gap in between so at the level of selecting and testing we observe the space as the gap and this is something that you are acquainted with isn't it at the level of analyzing and comparing we are able to see the two units with effect of one unit on another unit so we could see that at the level of analyzing and comparing we see the property now we are able to see that being in space one unit has effect on another unit so there are two units uh, and one unit is having effect on another unit and this effect is there through space isn't it at the level of contemplation i am able to see the relationship between two units now this is something more basic 
so for example i see a river flowing right so i can see how the water flows in the river this is something that i observe at the level of selecting and testing at the level of property i am able to see that things go from top to down and there is something between the earth and the river because of which the river is flowing down and not going up this is something that i see at the level of analyzing and comparing at the level of contemplation i am able to see that there is a relationship here the river is related to the earth the tree is related to the earth the tree is related to the air so this is something more fine more subtle more basic i am able to see the relationship there at the level of understanding i am able to see the harmony the self organization in the unit so i can see that the river is a harmony in itself it is self organized the earth is in harmony in itself it is self organized the tree is in harmony in itself it is self organized my body is in harmony in itself it is self organized so this is something that i able to see at the level of understanding and at the level of realization i see the coexistence that is submergence of unit in space so this is how the different activities of the self observe the space observe the uh, submergence isn't it so try to make it out try to see different entities in the nature and see what aspects you see in those entities and how do you see the coexistence that is space through your different activities so take at least 10 examples from the nature around and try to observe this isn't it so as a gist of what we said at the level of selecting and testing i am able to see the gap the void or the absence of a unit now this is something that we take very naturally that yes gap is there void is there and that's how when we talk about space people assume that this is something uh, like vacuum okay because we are generally active at the level of testing and selecting but we can see the gap you know we can also observe the gap through our sense organs now at the level of analyzing and comparing i am able to see the medium of transfer of effect so as you are taking the example of the utensil getting heated on fire so we can see that fire is there utensil is there this gap between the utensil and the fire and that is working as the medium of transfer of effect at the level of contemplation i am able to see the reality in which the relationship is ensured so the space is seen as the reality in which the relationship is ensured so we can see that relationship is there between me and the other human being between one physiochemical unit and another physiochemical unit between me and the body isn't it so there is a reality in which relationship is ensured similarly at the level of understanding we can see that there is a reality in which the harmony is ensured similarly at the level of realization we can see that there is a reality in which coexistence is ensured so i am able to see the essence the reality isn't it so we are acquainted with observing the gap we are also acquainted with observing the effect but maybe you do not observe the medium for transfer of effect this is something that we have to start observing and this is something that may be something new to us we need to observe this with little more subtle uh, observation so we are related we keep on saying but how are we related so being in space every human being is related to every other human being being in space every unit is self organized in itself being in space and every unit is submerged in space that is in coexistence with every other unit so this is how we observe the space isn't it so now there is a homework for you so investigate into your natural characteristic innateness and coexistence how you are there being in relationship there are feelings in relationship isn't it similarly observe your being in harmony observe your being in coexistence so being in harmony you are in a state of happiness being in coexistence you are submerged in space so investigate into all these realities so we say that yes i naturally accept relationship and not opposition how do we naturally accept the relationship because this is my natural characteristic 
we say that i want to be happy in continuity how do we say that i want to be happy in continuity because this is my innateness and we are not able to pay attention to this but a little observation will show that we are submerged in space so we are able to see that yes space is there everywhere we are also able to see how the units are self organized you know, to some extent we are able to see but it is there being in coexistence is something to be observed then investigate your living and try to find out whether it is centered around the activities of selecting or testing or analyzing and comparing or imaging and contemplation or determination and understanding or authentication and realization so if your living is centered around selecting and testing we try to get happiness from outside by getting some favorable taste isn't it whether through sensation or taste of some favorable feeling from the other when you are living at the level of analyzing and comparing you are many times spending too much time thinking over things analyzing uh, the form and property comparing the form and property when you are imaging then you are working at the level of when you are active when you are active at the level of imaging okay you are able to observe the feelings that you are having whether naturally acceptable or not and when you are active at the level of contemplation you are able to see the feelings which are naturally acceptable to you trust respect affection at the level of understanding and determination we are able to see the innateness of all the four orders and at the level of authentication and realization we are able to see the submergence the coexistence so where are you right now centered around some particular taste or analyzing and comparing or the high level activities this will help you evaluate your development of the self the level to which the self has been developed this will help you evaluate your current level of competence the level to which the self has been developed thirdly consider any unit and try to see all the five aspects of the unit for example form property state etc thirdly consider any unit and try to see all the five aspects of the unit let's say form property etc for example you have a pen isn't it now this pen is a unit of physical order it has a form is it not so it has a shape size it has property also when you use the ball pen on paper it writes and you are able to see that if i use a stick in place of a pen it will not write but when i use a pen it does write so form is their property also there in the pen the pen has a natural characteristic also the way it is related to paper to other things in the nature it is self organized there is an innateness in this pen it continues to be self organized this is the innateness part and it is there in space submerged in space so you can observe all the five aspects of any unit and then try to see which are the different aspects you are able to see at present also try to observe the activities of the self that is involved in seeing a particular aspect of the unit so this will take you some time to observe but keep on observing and keep on jotting down what you observe then investigate whether you are able to see the coexistence the submergence until which level of activity of the self then investigate whether you are able to see the space until which activity of the self you are able to see the space only as a void gap or you are able to see the medium of having effect of one unit on another unit or you are also able to see the relationship the harmony and the coexistence so observe all these and note down in a paper and take it as an assignment for today with this clarity we'll discuss the next lecture so today uh, in our <clears throat> so in today's lecture sorry so in today's lecture we looked at the expression of coexistence in the four orders and we saw how the self observes the innateness the natural characteristic the submergence the form the property and also how the self observes the space 
So I hope this has given you some clarity about how you are going to see the reality, all the five aspects of reality. So with this clarity, I think we'll be in a better position to understand the coexistence as it is. So this was all for the lecture today. Thank you.